Hi guys, this is The Real Mrs. MVP, formerly I'm Trying 777. I changed my name to match up with my store on Etsy, which is of course The Real Mrs. MVP. Today I'm going to show you how to make a fairly simple eye texture in Photoshop. You can use this for different gaming sites or just you can adapt it for use in your own digital art. So here we go. Go to File, New, and then we're going to go with width and height 256 by 256, resolution of 72, click OK. And we're going to zoom in on this, click your zoom tool, click make sure that the plus is clicked on, and click in here once. Go to your paint bucket tool, make sure that that's selected. And I've already chosen the proper color, um, but for you, you would need to click on the foreground swatch here and choose a yellowish grayish color because the whites of your eyes are never truly white no matter how healthy you are. Um, the shade that I have here is E8E8BB. You can make this show up on your computer by just entering that code right here. Click OK once you have this color and then using your paint bucket tool flood fill the canvas then you need to go down here and click your create new layer icon click on that now we have to go to our elliptical marquee tool yours might be um, already the rectangular marquee tool so all you need to do is click and hold and this will fly out and you can choose the elliptical marquee tool now um, you need to go around here it doesn't matter if you're not centered we can fix that in a minute hold down your shift key and this will be a perfect circle. So then once you have your perfect circle, I need you to pick any color that you want. For this one, I'm going to pick green. This green right here really doesn't matter which one you pick. Um, so now we need to flood fill this circular area, circular selection with the color that we picked. So here we go. Then we're going to go with select all go to the move tool up here and click vertical or align vertical centers then align horizontal centers this puts your iris right in the middle of your canvas select deselect now I need you to go over to this layer layer 2 make sure that it's highlighted and selected right click duplicate layer click OK now I need you to go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise. My amount here is about what I'm going to use, which is 21% Gaussian Monochromatic. Click OK. If I'm going too fast, you can feel free to pause and rewind. Um, that's what I do when I'm watching videos about things that I don't know, if they're going too fast. Now I need you to go to Filter, Blur, radial blur. Click on that. Then the blur method will be zoom, quality, best, the amount is 100. Click OK. I know it looks a little weird right now but this is what we need. Okay. So now I need you to go and duplicate your copy layer. Go right click, duplicate the layer, click OK. Then I need you to go to Edit, Transform, Rotate, and right here in your degrees of rotation, I want you to put in 25. Click, press Enter. Sometimes I have to press Enter twice, I'm not sure why, but anyway. Um, in your layer overlay settings, I need you to go to select actual overlay. Then I want you to go and merge down. This looks pretty good. I know it looks kind of weird to you right now, but that's okay. That's why we left this first original layer. Go down here. Don't click in the layer just yet. Just um, hold down your control key, then click on the thumbnail for this. Make sure that your layer 2 copy is still selected like that. Okay, so here we go. Now you can see that the, um, the circle from the original layer is selected inside of the copied layer. Before you do anything, I need to go to Select Inverse. 
this selects all the stuff that's outside of the circle, like this funky area right here. Press your delete key. My delete key was all funky that time. Then go to select, deselect. Now that's looking really good. Um, I turned off the original layer because we don't need it anymore, for now at least. Um, make sure that this layer is selected, then go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and we're going to go with 0 0.5. Click OK. That's starting to look really good, like really good eyes. Okay, now we need to go down to the Create New Layer icon. Um, just create your new layer. Then we're going to go and we're going to select a soft round brush with, um, we're going to go with, this one is 50, hardness of 0%. Click where you think the center is. We can align it properly in a minute. Um, oh, I forgot to make it black. You need to make it black. Um, it doesn't have to be perfectly black. It can be a super dark brown or whatever you want, but it should be something really dark like black. I'm going to choose black. So click right here. Uh, sometimes you want to have to click twice because it's a soft brush. That looks really good. Go to Select All and do your Align Vertical and Horizontal Centers again. Click here for Align Vertical Centers, here for Align Horizontal Centers. Now it's perfectly centered. Go to Select, Deselect. Now you have some kind of nice eyes. They're, they're okay. They're very simple so far. You can stop here if you want. I would go a little bit farther. Um, so I would go to our create new layer icon, click new layer, then we're going to go back to our elliptical marquee tool. And what we're going to do here, we really need it to be an ellipse this time, so I'm going to go where, where I think it's about center, and actually that was horrible. I'm going to go up here to about, I would say, 20% of the way. Um, Actually, I don't like the way that looks either. Maybe 30% of the way. There we go. And um, we're not going to fill this with black. We want to fill this area with blackish gray. But before you do anything else, we have to feather this so that it's not... I'm just going to show you. Um, actually, first we're going to go with Select Inverse. And I'm going to show you what happens if you don't feather it. So um, here's what we have. I'm just going to deselect it for now. See, it's really um, solid. It doesn't look right. It it just it's weird. So I'm just going to edit, undo, edit, step backward. Um, we need to feather this selection. So let's go with a feathering of seven because I like the number seven. And now we're going to fill this area with black. Select. It didn't feather. Step backward. Step backward. Um, maybe I need to select this first. Let's see. I've been using Photoshop for 15 years and I still make mistakes, so I'm not going to... See, I just did it again. Undo, deselect. Select, inverse. There we go. So you have to make sure the feathering is in there before you make your selection. I knew that. I don't know why I didn't do it properly. But anyway, um, now we need to go to select, deselect. And this is starting to look like eyes. It's pretty darn good so far. Um, I am certainly far from being the best. I mean, there might be some people who picked up Photoshop six months ago and they can do this a million times better than me, and that's okay. It doesn't matter if your art is good or bad. What matters is the pleasure that you get from making it. Because everybody's an artist if they get any pleasure whatsoever from making it. Um, so I went down to the Create New Layer icon now, and it made a new layer above 
our uh, black shadow. So I'm going to just click in this thumbnail and drag it under layer 4 because we need it to be under there. Um, now we're going to add a little bit of shine. I'm going to go really simply. You can do so much with this, so many different things that you can do to make it look more realistic. I'm just going to go with a hard, 100% hardness, um, and the brush is going to be about 20, 20 pixels. So I'm just going to go with this, and then I'm going to pick, make it smaller, about 7, and I'm going to put some more shine down here, because you want your shine to come from about the same angle. Um, then you're going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and just bring it up until it looks kind of good. I've got it at, actually I'm going to go with one pixel. And then we're going to go to the Overlay Settings, Layer Overlay, and we're going to pick something that looks pretty good. Um, now we're going to go and create a new layer, and we're going to make some more highlights within the iris itself. Um, so go up here and select a large brush. It should be, I'm going to go with softness. Um, it's 0% hardness and the size is going to be 40 pixels. And I'm just going to draw a little bit in here where the light would have hit the eye a bit. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect like I said. Then we're going to go to our smudge tool and the strength is at 50. The mode is normal and I'm going to make it big. So around 50 because then it grabs a bigger area to smudge. Um, so I'm just going to click my mouse in here and drag these areas just a little bit. And it's a little bit bigger than I want it, so I'm just going to erase some of it. Um, your eraser tool is right here, and the hardness is 0%, which is really important when you're erasing stuff if you don't want it to have a sharp edge. The size is going to be 50, and we're going to really carefully hold down our mouse key and erase some of this because I made it too big. There we go. I'm going to just smudge this up a little bit more. It doesn't have to be perfect. Yours do, does not have to look exactly like this. Nobody's eyes are the same. Then go to your layer overlay settings again and experiment until you get something that you like. That looks pretty good. Um, then I'm going to go down to layer 2 because this is a bit the edges of this iris is just a bit too sharp for me. That's not the way a normal eye is. Um, so I'm going to go down to layer, well mine is called layer 2, you might have named yours differently, but anyway. Hold down your control key and click on this thumbnail. And what we're going to do here is select, modify, feather, and we're going to go with what was already there, which was 5. Click OK. Then it's going to shrink a little bit. Go to Select, Inverse. Now press your Delete key. See how it's kind of softer? Then go to Select, Deselect. That looks a little bit better. Um, but I'm just going to clean it up a little bit and make it look a little bit better. I'm going to go back to my eraser tool, which was on 50 and all of that. So I'm just going to soften it up a little bit. Just a teeny bit and then I'm going to go and I'm going to um, go to where my smudge tool was and I'm going to hold down um, the icon on my mouse key and I'm going to go with the blur tool. The blur tool was at 23 0% um, hardness strength 50 mode normal. I'm just going to blur the edges a little bit more to make it look a bit more natural. Just go around the edges a little bit. It looks pretty pretty good right there. Um, so now we want our eyes to look better. 
So we're going to make some blood vessels in here. Go to your paintbrush and we're going to go with a pixel size of 2. And then the color that we're going to pick is going to be, of course, a reddish color. Um, it doesn't really matter how dark or light you go because we can lighten it up. Um, but I'm going to pick 900C0C. Click OK. And um, basically, we're going to draw some squiggly lines that look a little bit like blood vessels or even um, sort of like lightning bolts, I guess. Um, doesn't matter if you can't see everything right now, you just, you can do it whichever way you feel most comfortable with. I'm going to start out here and I'm going to draw some squiggly lines and make them kind of look a bit like blood vessels. Don't worry about, about them being dark right now because they're not going to stay that way. So just draw a few lines all the way around the eyes until you're satisfied. And please keep in mind that your art does not have to be perfect. Just do what you're happy with. If you're proud of it, then don't let anybody make you feel that yours is not as good as theirs. So now that we have our blood vessels drawn, they're obviously way too dark and way too sharp and way too easy to see unless you're trying to draw a zombie eye. Um, so now we're going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Click OK. Um, we're going to leave, we're going to actually put the blurring at 0 0.5 pixels. Press Enter. And our um, opacity we're going to bring down on this one actually which is over here. I'm going to bring it down to... Let me see what looks good here. Forty-three percent looks pretty good. Um, and I'm going to zoom it out so that I can see how good or bad it looks at the original size. So I'm going to click on the zoom tool. Um, bring it... Actually, you can just click on your zoom tool and click actual pixels. And Obviously this is far from being perfect, but this is where you can start from. Um, I would do a lot different shine, like I would make it um, look more natural and realistic. But this is just a very simple tutorial for how you can get started. You can make suggestions on what you would do differently, um, especially if you do any step that I'm doing differently than I do it, I would love to know because I like to learn all the time and I know that there's different and better ways but anyway this is how I do it hopefully you have learned something and hopefully you will use this to um, teach other people and if not well at least you learn something from me I hope have a great day don't forget to like comment and subscribe and even share um, if you have any suggestions please comment Thank you. Bye.